Time now for the five facts. At number five, New Mexico State Aggie fans. They will soon have a new drink to enjoy. The Aggie Rita is going to be making its debut on the 23rd of this month. It's during a launch event at the Little Toad Creek Brewery and Distillery in downtown Las Cruces. The raspberry margarita flavored drink is a collaboration between Little Toad Creek and Mixed Up Cocktail Company and it contains 6% alcohol by volume. Now, after the launch, the drink will be available in local liquor stores as well as select restaurants and bars. And number four, after weeks of high water level, the metro stretch of the Rio Grande could soon be running dry again. The middle Rio Grande Conservancy District says hot temperatures and a lack of rain are once again stressing the river to its limit. Because of that heat, the district used stored water from the San Juan Chama project a month earlier than they expected. They expect the river to go dry as soon as next week. Once the river dries, it will affect roughly 60,000 acres of agricultural land near Albuquerque. And at number three, unfortunately, drier weather is on the way this weekend. We still have the chance for a few isolated mountain storms across far western New Mexico, while the rest of us sees plenty of sunshine warming temperatures. Those warm temperatures will continue at least throughout the rest of the weekend. And number two, state prosecutors are pushing to keep the Cuesta team they, they say shot and killed his friend behind bars. 14-year-old Porfirio Brown is accused of killing 13-year-old Amber Archuleta last month while they were hanging out with other friends at Brown's home. In court documents filed this week, prosecutors say Brown had access to many unsecured guns in the household. As a result, Brown's father is the first person facing felony charges under the recently passed Benny's Law, which holds parents responsible if they don't secure firearms in the household. Brown is facing a first-degree murder charge and will be tried in children's court. But if he's convicted, the state will call for him to be sentenced as an adult. And at number one, Albuquerque uh, parents, they are frustrated this morning, saying that pickup and drop off times have become a nightmare since APS changed their school start and end times. One parent sent News 13 video from Taft Middle School showing kids running across the street, dodging cars with no adults in sight. A part of the issue comes with teachers working bell to bell, being on the same schedule as the students. Back in July, APS Superintendent Scott Elder said that the district funded duty time that was from an $8 million stipend for all schools, keeping teachers on duty before and after the bell.